Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're bringing you a 2022 Logan Coach Horsepower. This is a 31 foot gooseneck set up for you know, all your off-road activities, whether that be four-wheeling, ATVing, snowmobiling, UTVs. This trailer's got it all for you guys. Um, we'll start here on the back. I'll show you guys some features of this trailer. It's pretty loaded out with options. Um, here on your back ramp, you do have this caliper system. Uh, for your tracks going up into this trailer. So it's gonna be real grippy grabbing your tires going into here, especially if you're snowmobiling. These back ramps tend to get pretty wet. Um, so by having this caliper system, it's really gonna grip your uh, tracks on your sled and give you a lot of grip to get up in the back of this trailer. It is a spring assisted rear ramp, so it's gonna be super easy for you guys to close and open this ramp. You know, with one person, you're not gonna need two people to get up inside this trailer. Coming up in the trailer, the first thing you'll notice is this vortex lined floor. Pretty much anywhere you see black in this trailer, it is this vortex lining. And what it is, it's a permanent, almost hard plastic surface. Um, it's gonna keep everything real clean. It's gonna keep that water from getting to the frame of this trailer. And on top of that, you'll notice there is a drain right here. This is a rear floor drain in this trailer. You will have individual drain plugs. So all your water as this trailer is tilted back can run to this drain and drain out this trailer, whether it be while you're traveling down the road or you're just trying to get some liquid out of here while you guys are staying for the weekend. You will have a track system you'll see on each side of this trailer on position on your walls. Those are movable tie down points. So you can you know, tie down stuff in this trailer along the whole length of this trailer to each wall. This here is a fold down workbench. So again, if you got sleds in here, four wheelers, UTVs, and you want a place to work on them, you can sit this bench down, work on your stuff. Or if you just want to hang out, you know, have a good place to eat lunch or something like that, you can use these benches for that as well. I like them because they're really handy. They fold up out of the way really nicely. If you got to fit more machines in here or anything, or if you just want more walking room back here, I like it because it's a long enough trailer that you're set up. You can pull all your stuff in the front. You can bring you know, some tables with you, some chairs, and you can use this as you know, a lunch area, anything like that while you're out traveling. Again, we do have another one of those benches right here as well. So again, it gives you a couple points to be able to work on stuff with these benches or just have a couple different seating areas in this trailer. And again, it will fold up super easy. Up here, you will notice there are speakers. This is equipped with an Alpine speaker system with your kicker uh, speakers, and you do have a subwoofer in here as well. You will get LED lighting throughout this trailer. Again, you're gonna be hanging out in this trailer, you know, late night, stuff like that, early mornings, getting ready for the day ahead. You're gonna have plenty of light to do so. Cool thing is, is it's the first time I've seen one of one of these horsepowers is we actually put a hoist in here. So you have a roof, roof hoist, you can ho hoist sleds up, ho hoist, hoist ATVs up and stuff like that. If you need to get underneath and need to work on them, stuff like that, that hoist is really gonna help you guys do so. And then behind that hoist, we do have a bar here, a rod mounted to your ceiling. Again, be able to hang clothes, hang jackets and stuff like that, and just give them a nice place to air out where they're out of the way, not piled up in a corner drying out. It's really gonna help the drying efficiency of all your clothes if you're out snowmobiling and getting stuff wet. The cabinet on this passenger side of this trailer, again, there is your sub I was talking about. It is a Kenwood sub. And then the thing I wanna point out is inside these storage lockers, you will have some hanging points, but just notice how many outlets are up here. You do have your 120 outlets, you got some USB outlets, as well as your standard car charger outlets. You're gonna have plenty of places to plug stuff in, keep stuff charged up. Your GoPros, it's got a GoPro charging station in here as well. So you can keep all your fun stuff charged up, you know, for your daily activities while you're out off-roading. You will have a lipped tray right here or a shelf. You can store fuel tanks up there, helmets, whatever it may be. It keeps them from rolling into your thing. It's got about a three inch lip on it, so nothing's gonna fall out of this tray right here as well. And then above that tray, you will have, again, another one of those lights that's going to line this trailer as well as two more 120 outlets. And then again, here is another storage cabinet. Again, they are all operated. They latch really simply. You pretty much push button them and then pull them, and you will have a gas piston or a piston that's going to pull that up and hold that up for you while you can put stuff in there and store it efficiently. On the front side of this cabinet is your deck for your speaker system, whether it be your AM, FM, Bluetooth. Um, you can put a USB drive in there as well if you got some songs on a USB drive. But again, this is going to run your whole speaker system for this trailer. And you will have a 12 volt above that as well as two more USB outlets. And then handy little storage area where you can store some remotes and stuff like that. We, again, we have some more hanging space here on this passenger side. Again, you're hanging jackets, you're going to be hanging cords, you're going to be hanging chargers, stuff like that. It's just going to keep stuff out of the way and organized for you guys. Then up here in your neck area, we did carpet it just in case you know you want to throw a mattress in this trailer. Cool thing about this trailer, it's got a 40,000 BTU furnace. You'll notice right here it is ducted into the area back here. 
This is a 40,000 BTU furnace. It's gonna push air into this trailer to help dry stuff out, keep it warm in here for you guys. But it's also gonna push air into this boot box right here. So you will have a drying boot box. You can put all your boots on that, on these rods. They are air ducted on these rods so it can dry the inside of your boots out and keep them nice and warm for you guys as well. So that furnace is both gonna heat that boot box and the cargo area of this trailer. Up front, you will have again another speaker up in that nose, as well as your fuse panel for all the fuses on this trailer and a couple more 120 outlets. Up here on the roof, we do have a roof mounted AC in this trailer. So, again, if you know you're in Moab for the weekend, UTV and ATV and stuff like that can get pretty hot. So, it'd be pretty nice to pull off, come in here, have lunch, kick that AC on, and have it nice and climate controlled in here for you guys as well. A big thing I want to point out before I jump out of this trailer. I'm going to show you guys this couch, then I'll show you the cool thing we did on this horsepower model. So this is a fold-down couch. It will fold up and mount on this wall for traveling, so you can get your UTV nice and buy it, haul everything, unload it, and then again, drop your benches, drop your couch, have a nice hangout area for you guys while you're traveling. The coolest thing I think we did in this horsepower model is we did these deck over fenders. So you'll notice most you know, UTV, travel trailers, stuff like that, your fenders are going to come up in there. It's really going to eliminate how wide of stuff you can haul because you're going to have to either climb up on top of those fenders or try and squeeze in between them. So by doing these deck overs, it really gains you guys a lot of space, especially in this trailer being eight and a half wide. You're going to be able to use pretty much eight foot five of that with your framing. So you're going to get a lot of space to be able to fit stuff in this trailer as well. And then again, right here, it's just an access door for this trailer. So if you didn't even come in here while you're traveling, hop in here really quick, you'll have a nice little access door. That way you guys aren't having to drop ramps if you just need to jump in here for a really quick. You also have your uh, awning type windows in here, again, giving you guys some light. If you want to flow some air through here, you'll have this window right here as well as two up in the gooseneck. And then this here, I'll show you guys this from the outside, but this is a fueling station. So if you pull your UTV, your ATV, your sled, it's parked right here while you're traveling, you pull up to the gas station, you can typically fuel, fuel your trunk at the truck at the front pump, open this door, and then just pull a hose right into here and start filling your, uh, you know, your snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs, and stuff like that from the outside. That way you're not having to carry a bunch of gas tanks. You're not having to worry about unloading stuff to fill them at the gas station while you guys are traveling. So this trailer has plenty of options for you guys, especially in this cargo area. It's pretty loaded out, and it's a pretty cool little setup we did on this trailer. And then again, you will get this front ramp for offloading stuff. It's super easy to be able to jump a couple out the front, keep them loaded if you want, back them out the back. It gives you guys some options as far as how you're going to load stuff, how you're going to offload stuff. And then again, you will have that same caliper uh, track system loading up into this trailer. So you're going to get plenty of options as far as how to load stuff. And it's going to be really safe and efficient for you guys as well. Here's that fuel door I just showed you guys from the inside of that trailer. So again, you're going to be able to open that door, have access to whatever you're fueling right here, and just be able to fuel directly from the pump, which is really handy for you guys as well. And then up top, you will notice there is about a 12-foot awning on this trailer. So again, if you're hanging out, picnicking, luncheon, you need to get in the shade or something like that, you will have an electric awning you can open up, give you guys some shade and a nice little place to hang out while you're traveling. Again, it's in this really cool gray color. You will have some black aluminum wheels down low. Um, they are nitrogen filled tires. Again, it's an off-road trailer. We think you guys are going to be using it, you know, in some harsh winter conditions as well as some really hot summer conditions. What nitrogen filling these tires does, is it keeps them from contracting and expanding as compared to, you know, normal compressed air. What it does is it raises the nitrogen content in those tires to about 98%. Uh, the nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like it does oxygen, so you're really not going to have to worry about, you know, filling and unfilling these tires as your weather changes around you. That nitrogen is really going to help balance the PSI in those tires out. Then again, you will have a load light above each door. You'll notice right here, you have a six inch awning light above this door. You'll also have one above your rear ramp as well. Again, giving you guys some nice light to be able to see what you're doing if you're loading or unloading in early mornings or late nights. Moving around to underneath the gooseneck of this trailer, again, you'll notice it's pretty much 100% coated in that vortex lining that I mentioned earlier. And again, all that's doing is protecting the framing of this trailer and adding to the longevity of the lifespan of this trailer. Pretty much any rocks that nick or ding at this, it's not going to nick away at the steel or the aluminum. It's just going to nick away at that, you know, vortex lining. It's going to hold up for plenty of years to come. Here are your onboard propane tanks for this trailer. Again, that's going to power your furnace inside there, that 40,000 BTU that I talked about. Then right here, we do have a hydraulic jack. It's a single leg, 7,500 pound jack, so you guys should have no problem with the weight difference on this trailer. You know, the, you know, quickly attach this to a truck or quickly offload it off a truck and get going to doing what you guys really want to do, which is going to be off-roading and stuff like that. 
You also have your two batteries that power this trailer. Again, you're gonna be able to power some things on this trailer with those batteries. For example, your lights, your smaller appliances, some plugs and stuff like that. But mainly this trailer is made to be plugged in. So if you're parking it for a weekend and you have a plug or a generator, everything's gonna run off a short cord. 30 amp power is gonna run your AC, your heater, your bigger appliances and stuff like that. Up here underneath the nose, it's kind of cool. We have a uh, LED spotlight that you can click on really easily. Um, it's really cool because you can click it on while you're hooking, unhooking, checking propane tanks, making sure everything's good to go. Um, it's just going to give you guys some light so you're not knocking your head on the roof or banging your hands around trying to find stuff late at night. You also have your safety chains, your 7-pin plug, and of course your Bulldog 2 and 5 16 coupler to attach to your truck. Again, this is a super cool trailer. We have a couple of them sitting here. We have two goosenecks ready to go for you guys right now. But if you're interested in this unit, the stock number for this unit is 5N220304. Again, it's a 2022 Lone Coach Horsepower. It's a 31 foot on your deck. You're gonna be seven and a half tall, eight and a half wide. So you're gonna have plenty of space to haul your toys while you're traveling. So again, if you're interested in this trailer, we have another horsepower sitting here similar to this one with a few more upgrades. We have some more on order and we can also place custom orders for you guys if that's what you're interested in. If you're interested in this unit or any other units we may have available, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.